Dad has also passed? No, my, my father's parents are alive Not right here, now. Because there's another male, and it feels like you would know him because he's like an outdoorsman, older guy, though, who's passed. Big outdoorsman. So unless you know that Fred was like somebody who loves to be in the outdoors, like a hunter, fisher, you know what I mean? Somebody who likes to be outdoors, not somebody who likes to, oh, you like to sit on this porch, not that mm -hmm. kind of outdoors. Yeah. Um, I don't think that's Fred, though. It doesn't resonate with me. And I'm hearing that you're you're moving around, or you have this big question about moving. Yeah. Back and forth. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> so they're they're telling you it's a little bit of James, but it's mostly this other guy who's like, it's, to me, it's a grandfather figure. I'm still waiting for Fred to reveal if it's him or not. I don't think it is. Um, he, this man saying he had liver issues or drinking issues, which is what contributed to when he, how he passed. But he was older. So it wasn't like a young guy passing of that, but there were some liver issues with him. Um, but they're kind of teasing you of like, stop, think you're overthinking the moving thing, and that you keep going like, yes, I'm going to do it, and then you retract. Like you commit to it, and then you go, no, 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 wait, hold on. So they're kind of saying like, all right, just get settled and realize that there is no choice like a wrong choice. So no matter what you do, there's no wrong choice. So just step forward and just do it. So that's first. Um, now James is passing. He was your friend. Um, his passing was very quick. Mm -hmm. uh, and did two? Were there actually question marks as to really what happened about his passing, like or what led up to it? Because there, he showed me a lot of question marks. He's also shown me a sister that's here. So I don't know if it's your sister he was close to or his. Probably his sister. Okay, because he's saying you have to reach out to her and tell him that he's as loud as ever. So he's still loud and like bold on the other side. Was he a good artist too? I honestly don't know. Wow, okay, because he showed me like artwork. So I don't know if it's his artwork or hers, but I think it's his, so he's telling me it's his. Like cartooning almost. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he did that? He, okay. he was like kind of into the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he's saying he's still doing that on the other side. Um, and have you, he showed me problems with your ear? So No, I don't think I've had any problems okay. with my ear or anything like that. That's probably not listening. <laughs> Maybe I'm, that, that listening. is true. Are you not listening then? Because if it's not literally the ear, it's a reference of not listening. I actually get in trouble with that a lot of work okay. when I'm not okay. listening. <laughs> Chris is always like, all right, make sure you're so listening. You're not yeah, listening, so. so you do have to, you know what it is? Your brain just is wandering. So it's like you think you're listening, but you're really not. So your brain wanders. You're always stuck between, um, like, I should, I want to do this, but I should do that. You know what I mean? That's like your big conflict. So instead, take out the should do, I want to do this, and then do that. Because that'll cut down a lot of like the BS in your life where it's like back and forth, back and forth. It's got to drive Tara crazy. It totally has to drive her crazy. Um, and is she still in school? Yeah, she's still in school. Because they're talking about her doing great in her grades. And this semester is like a really big one, a good one for her. I don't know if she finally gets to take all the classes she wants to or she just does well in all her classes. She's trying to go to, oh, do you want me to tell nope, her? Nope, nope. No information from you. Is, there, um, is she in healthcare too? There's some sort of like I see anatomy and physiology classes with her. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was just talking to me about a biology class yeah, she's okay. taking last night. So, so. so they're saying like she's gonna do really well with this, so she doesn't need to stress about it. And then when you move, I don't know where you live in relation to where we are right now, but they're saying that you're gonna move north, not like north, like Albany North, but wherever you live now, it'll be north. So I don't know if that's with Tara, like half hour, you know what I mean? It's not that, it's not that far, 20 minutes. So are you looking at a place like north? Not right now, north? no, no. Okay, so they're saying it's like 20 minutes north. Where do you live? Just give me I live question. in Hyde Park. Hyde Park, oh that is like 20 minutes north of here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that, then I'm going to say, if that's my reference point, I feel like you're going to look about five, ten minutes south of where you are. Because are you still at home? Uh, no, 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 I live on my own. own space. Yeah. Okay, so it feels like it's five minutes south of where you're living now, which is about 20 minutes north of here. And are you trying to, um, this is funny because it's, we're at your work, um, trying to get a promotion or get into a certain spot? Because they're telling you, do it. Why are you, like, holding back? And I don't know if you're keeping it quiet <laughs> or not, but it's like, do it. Do you understand this? Yeah. Okay. So they're going, do it. Do it. Don't, don't, um, don't worry about what everyone thinks. That's your big, you're the big, uh, you're the big thing that works against you. 
And they're saying that your mom, you just helped your mom with something very impromptu, like spur, spur of the moment, like thanking you for like actually helping your mom out. Uh, you just happen to visit her, but it's not like a planned visit. It just stopped by or something. Well, they're visiting this week, actually. Oh, they are. Yeah. Okay. So they're visiting. Mm -hmm. And th there must be something that like you were helping your mom with. Yeah, that we're taking care of the dogs. Oh, okay. So they're thanking you, and that is mostly her parents thanking you for taking care of them. Does she have a pool? My mom. Yeah. No. Or do you have a pool? Uh, yeah, we have a pool in our apartment. In your apartment. Oh. I don't know if it's that though. They're showing me like a pool in the backyard that like fell through or had a problem with it. I think almost think this was a thing that happened to your mom when she was a kid. So I'm gonna have to ask them about the pool that like fell or didn't get used or a big story about the pool. I'm gonna have to ask your mom about that. Okay. Jeannie also, and when you go talk to your mom too, she clears her throat a lot. And then she sends love to the three. So does she have three kids? So your mom has two siblings? She is one sibling, one so sibling. two two kids all together. Two kids all together. Then, then she must have, your mom must have three kids. Because your grandmother is sending love to the three. Unless Maybe there's three grandchildren. It might be my mom and us two together. Your sibling, your mom, I'm not sure. Usually the unit of three would come together. Maybe you know? Born together. I mean, I can't actually think of something right now, but... Where is there, like, another somebody who's considered a sibling, but they're not really that well, sort of thing? Yeah, there's actually... Well, my cousins just went through a pretty tragic thing myself, or themselves, and there's three boys in there, and they just found out about something, like, really tragic oh, okay. in my family okay. on my dad's side. Okay, and particularly the oldest of those three boys? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So... <laughs> and one of those boys, like, has somebody's name flipped, so if somebody was like Michael Thomas, their name is Thomas Michael. You might have to really think of this, but I'm glad it's getting recorded so that you can look back to it. Usually I record them, the voice of it. I can't think of any like names that are flipped or anything yeah, like that. Show me a flipped name and somebody's on the other side. And was there a big cancer scare too in this family? Actually, yeah. Right. My, my grandmother has stage four lung cancer, lung cancer okay. right now. Yeah, and so. then it's, um, that's your dad's mom? Mm -hmm. There's a male around her. Does she have a brother who's a pet? Oh, does, they're telling me no, even if she does, it's not him. This other male that I feel like the outdoorsman, liver, this guy is around your grandmother on dad's side. Then they're saying she's ready. She's ready to go. It's just nobody else here is ready for her to go. That's just, yeah. And then do you have something in your car that, like, for, like, protection almost? Do you know what I mean? Like an angel or, like, a little, like, people have, like, um, stickers in their car, I don't know what they are, or medals in their car. They're saying you have something in your car for like good luck or protection. I don't know if I ever thought of it as good luck or protection. I thought it was always funny, but I, I keep a dog costume in my car because it's got a big, like, I don't know, it, it's just funny, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, this wouldn't be on your visor then, right? This no. This would have to be in, like, your back seat. No, there's nothing on my visor or anything like that. Drawn to the visor. You know what? Ask the oldest cousin, the male, if he keeps something in his car, because that's where we were talking about. So if it's not you, ask him if he keeps something like for protection or luck. I don't think we're talking about the dog costume. Okay. Although you just divulged that information now, everybody knows it. <laughs> it's all good. And they also tease you about being very particular and anal about like the way you do things. So like if you get dressed, it has to always be the same way and you're really like anal and they're laughing about you. That's James that does that. Did he have a head injury or an issue with his head when he passed? Um, he got in a car accident. accident. So yeah, so. Okay. He, he laughs like, um, yeah. he's got a laugh like, okay, I don't know if you remember this scene, but in The Karate right. Kid, there's a guy and he laughs really funny. I don't want to do it, especially since this is getting recorded. <laughs> I don't need the internet to hear me do this laugh. But um, there's a scene in the Karate Kid where the guy's laughing um, at the very end where they're telling him to sweep his leg. There's somebody on the side and they're laughing. It's like this hyena-ish like laugh. That's how James is reminding me that he laughs. And he's handing you something. So did you actually get something of his after he passed? And he's saying that you're on, he, he's on your desk, or you have something of him with you at work? Not at work, no, but we have a, my brother and I have a picture of him at our house. At yeah, your house. So. And then did you get something?
from him. To me, it feels it almost feels like a, a bottle top. Bottle top. Yeah, that's what it feels like to me. I don't think so. He was a big drinker. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you're gonna like receive or find in a really weird space like a bottle cap, and that'll be your little reminder like, mm -hmm. oh my God, he's around. Um, and I'm not talking about like you're at a bar and somebody opens that would obvious. This would be like all of a sudden you're at work and you find one or someone gives you one or there's one on your the way to your car or the way home. You know what I mean? That mm -hmm. it's in a weird random spot. Yeah. This is only a bottle cap. Okay. Do you have questions? <laughs> um. I don't know. I, I guess I'm always just so worried about like what's gonna happen and like how it's gonna happen and. I guess my biggest worry is just like showing everybody that I am a success and I'm not going to be like some loser like they thought I was going to be back in the day. Mm -hmm. So perfect, well said too, because anybody who's watching this too probably has that same issue. So it's going to hit, what I'm going to say is specific to you, but it's going to also hit what people are, who are, whoever's hearing this. So whatever we believe about ourselves from early on we kind of keep playing out until we grow out of it so if we believe that we're the worst baseball player ever then we're going to keep being the worst baseball player ever until we realize no i'm not the worst player i'm going to get better i'm going to practice so truly everybody's destiny is in their own hands and the only thing that holds any of us back and we all have the same issue on one level or another is our thoughts of what if it doesn't happen and what are people going to think? So once you can break those two paradigms open, you'll have complete success. You just have to not care about what everybody's thinking. That's your big thing. And I think I said that about 10 minutes ago. Like, you always worry about what everyone's thinking. So instead of that, now it's, it's you know what? I don't really don't care. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try it. Anything you've ever tried, you never regret trying. So you have to keep looking at it that way. And so the success will come when you step into that space of, you know what, I'm successful because I'm trying, not because of the outcome. Mm -hmm. It's a different way of thinking. And we're all outcome driven, you know, we want instant gratification, we all want that. But we have to kind of step back and go like, wait, I'm okay right now, and I'm going to keep trying. You have to live your life like that. I tell everybody, when we die, our consciousness goes on and that's great. But our story ends. Our life, physical life, ends. So my thing, every day I wake up, I'm thinking, I better make it a good story. I better make my life a really good story so that when I do die, people go, yeah, I don't know, she was crazy. She, she did this, she did that, she tried new things. So that's it. That's all you have to do is try new things, put yourself out there. If you don't put yourself out there and stretch, nothing's going to happen, that I can promise. <laughs>